Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jeannie. I live in Colorado. I do a whole bunch of Colorado outdoors, camping, hiking, all the things. However, we are in Wyoming. The Wyoming border is only one hour from us, so um, it's easy to take some quick trips up here. And we are currently in Medicine Bow National Forest by the Sugarloaf area. And we are doing some dispersed camping here. It is gorgeous. I've done a few dispersed camping vlogs in Colorado, and now we're testing out Wyoming and no complaints thus far. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you our free dispersed camping spot here in Wyoming. Here is our beautiful campsite. So if you're new to my channel, we are into SUV camping. So we have our SUV converted into our sleeping area. And yeah, this is our bed. So our Jeep is our camper. We got our portable shower and toilet system all set up here in our pop-up tent. We put our water outside since it's so warm and sunny right now. We're like, take the sun in, warm up the water. We got our cooking area here and we have a huge, it's a huge site. You guys check this out gorgeous and we put our chairs down here because we have a really nice little view of this valley you can see my husband down here so he's scoping it out <laughs> do you see anything there's fish, there's fish? Yeah. shut up oh my god okay well we have fish here to catch here's our view this is gorgeous and it's free i mean can you complain no and i guess we have fish so let's go check it out this is crazy i didn't even know there was like a stream down here Wow. It's real. Hold on. It's kind of muddy. Okay, this is really weird. This is like extremely shallow. There's fish in there. It's muddy. You can't, I mean, I can see them moving, but I, it's hard to get them in the video. And. Like there's only this much water. There's like three fish down there. It's like I we almost want to like save them and put them somewhere else because there's no other like waterways here. Like this is really strange. But we're gonna let Mother Nature be Mother Nature. We found more. There's like this tiny. Look how shallow the stream is. It's like a mangrove. I don't know if you can see them in the video. Shoot. But they're there. They're trout that are swimming back here in this extremely dried up creek. I mean, look at that. So, I don't know. All right, well, that was interesting. So happy Labor Day weekend to you all from Wyoming. So because it's Labor Day weekend, we had a feeling it was gonna be pretty busy here. And we were kind of worried that um, dispersed camping spots would be pretty full. And we weren't wrong. So we got here at about eight o'clock this morning on a Saturday and we drove around for about eh, 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, through a whole bunch of forest roads here in Medicine Bowl. It was very busy. We were in quite shock when we saw how full everything was here. So um, we knew it would be busy. We just, we were really questioning if we were actually gonna get a camping spot because it was quite tough. We finally found one and it's a gem. We're loving it. So because we got here pretty early this morning, we decided to come scope out spots before we go out and do any hiking or anything because we figured the later it goes in the day, the busier it's gonna get the least chance of spots actually being available and yeah we were right <laughs> we actually set up camp at about eight o'clock this morning to like hold down our spot we put up all our stuff outside so people were like nope that one's taken and then we went and did some hiking so this morning we went and did the south gap lakes trail it's about three and a half miles round trip it was a beautiful trail you hike along a bunch of different lakes and the views are beautiful highly recommend if you're in this area the south gaps lake trail is beautiful we were actually here earlier this summer and we hiked at the top of medicine bow peak definitely go check out that vlog if you're looking for more things to do in the area cheers <laughs> We're going on a little afternoon walk. It's like 2.30 and I mean, we're not ones to just sit around all day long and just like hang. Like we like to do that, but we need to move too. So we're just gonna go walk the road and 
see what we find. See who else is camping. It's so much busier than any other areas we've been in, but it's Labor Day weekend, so it's to be expected. <laughs> This was a fun little find. It's just right up the road from our campsite. So we're walking back to our campsite and all of a sudden we heard an elk call and we kind of freaked out because it's officially at that time of year when elk are in rut and they start bugling. So it's elk bugling season here. And so we heard that call and we're like, oh my God, where's the elk? <laughs> and then we like turned the corner and we realized it was a camper with an elk call. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. we were excited but scared at the same time because we're like, uh, it's elk in rut? <laughs> like we have to get past this area? It was fake, boo. <laughs> I talked about it, just a few different upgrades we did and how, you know, this is a total learning as you go process. You figure out things, you change things as you continue to camp. So one thing we decided we wanted to upgrade was our cooktop camp stove. We used to have a single burner with the propane underneath, which worked fine. There was nothing wrong with it. Our concern was like tipping over our food because it's kind of top heavy. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted something that was a little bit more low profile so we didn't have it so tippy it like we decided to purchase this double burner camp stove and as you can see it's a much lower profile and it collapses all the way down into like a portable little stove with a handle if we ever decide to cook something where we need two burners now we have it and it collapses down real small so now it's time to cook Dinner tonight is homemade chili with homemade cornbread, a little topping of some sour cream, cheese, and some crackers. Let's eat! camping like this you know we're in the mountains and it's always cool and crisp but this is it some homemade chili and it's like you know fall is right around the corner and so we're getting all the fall vibes and that calls for chili I think the lower tonight is gonna be like 40 degrees so it's gonna be chilly tonight haha -ha. No pun intended. So normally we go for an evening sunset walk however I think tonight we're gonna go for an evening sunset drive <laughs> tell we're getting into fall weather look at that foliage it's reds and yellows and oranges ah! we have not seen any trees yet turn um, we've been in the mountains in Colorado and now here in Wyoming and all the trees are thus far no color I'm just seeing the shrubs and the plants and everything that are slowly starting We're 
on our way back to the site. Check it. There she is. Mama Moose. She made our night. It's perfect. <laughs> So you guys, I just realized I totally forgot all our phone chargers at home. And my battery's at like 10%. Yeah. So I don't really know how much more of the vlog I'm gonna have here. So uh, yeah, just a heads up. 